Hello family and friends, welcome to Cooking with Chef Khalil. Summer is in the air, and let me tell you something. What I have is a beautiful lamb chops. I'm gonna show you how to do a beautiful lamb lollipop on the barbie. So with this lamb chops right here, I got this beautiful barbecue steak seasoning that I grabbed from our local South Australia market. They are beautiful and simple. You can just literally drizzle a little bit on the top, finish it up with some olive oil. Bam, 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 bam. And this is exactly what you want to do. So here is we go. With my barbecue, I like to use a lot of colors, a lot of vegetables. So in this case, I'm using the three beautiful colors of capsicums. Just gonna slice. One edge of your capsicum, take off the edge, take off the seeds. So you're only taking the skin, a little bit all. That seasoning will work also well with your vegetable and produce on the grill. So as you put it on the grill, you just want to season some more and that flavor of the steak will go into your vegetable as well. And finally, I'm gonna finish the whole deal with my beautiful mushroom. One of them are amazing. All right, so as for the lamb chops, it's much better if you marinate it a day early or a couple of hours before. That gives a chance to the olive oil and the season to marinate and infuse inside your meat. And the flavor will actually come out really beautifully with your steak as you're cooking it on the grill. So in this case, I have this beautiful grill that actually closed both ways. Love is on the barbie. While you have your meat and vegetable on the barbie, you wanna do a little sauce to make the flavor great. Mint and lamb, they are best friends. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna have a little mint leaves and chili. Heaven here is a little smash garlic, my friends. So what we have, we're smashing the little garlic in and just easy as to peel out. I have a little oil as well, smash it out. What you can do also is you can blend it in. And you literally, what's gonna happen with the lamb, as soon as the lamb comes out, it's gonna be warm and hot and juicy. And what you're doing is using that juice from your lamb, straight into your olive oil and garlic and chili and mint. And the flavor will be added this what? The whole plate all together will take no longer than three to five minutes. This is the moment when you ask yourself, self, how do you like your lamb to be cooked? Do you like your lamb to be cooked well done? Rare, medium rare, or just medium. I love it, medium rare. Because I love that juice, and I love the lamb, and I love the mint all coming in my mouth. It's like punching me straight in my teeth. This is the joy and flavor that I like for summer. Because barbecue is the place to have for summer. Let's get this all together here. Now we talk in love. Love is on the barbecue, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. So how I'm gonna plate that is nice and simple. You're taking all the colors and try your best to match them nicely. So this beautiful lamb coming straight from the grill into your marination with the chili and garlic and the final touch of all the love in the world. This beautiful pink salt, Himalayan pink salt. This Himalayan pink salt is just gonna have this additional salty kick. I'm personally, having a hard time finishing up this plate, not having a chop out of this beautiful lollipop, lollipop, lolly, lolly, lollipop, lollipop. Before anybody comes around, I'm just gonna. Now our dish coming together and we're finally gonna decorate it to serve you our plate. It looks really beautiful and it's very hard to resist if you are a lamb lover. I love the lamb, I love the mint, I love the chili and the garlic. And this one plate, if love can talk, love will tell me, let me tell you, love is on the plate. 